Good morning, good morning. Wake up, wake up. Hope everyone's wide awake this morning. 44 degrees. If you're not walk outside, it'll surely wake you up for sure. It should be a beautiful day, though. Lots of sunshine. Get out and enjoy it because rain moves in tomorrow, JC. And according to Mr. Frank's scripture this morning, we only have three of these days left. Hmm. Right, Frank? Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us on an absolutely glorious Wednesday morning in Athens, Alabama. This is Athens in the AM and Jan, Dr. Jan White joined us, Tom McAllister. Jan, what's your subject today? Uh, adjusting to retirement. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Adjusting to what age group are we talking about, Jen? Oh, older adults. <laughs> older as in? Oh, 65 and over. Oh, okay. All right. Just want to make sure I'm You're not semi retired. Hey, before I forget, yesterday I was informed that it was Sheriff Mike Blakely's birthday. So I called and left him a message. I'm assuming it was his 60th birthday. I'm guessing. I said I just wanted to call and check on the old folks. So anyway, just if y'all see Sheriff Blakely, and I hope it was his birthday. I was informed that it was. We got a lot of stuff to talk about today. Now, y'all may notice I've had this shirt on for almost two complete weeks. I'm looking down to see if I've got any toothpaste stains on it this morning, but Gloria did wash it over the weekend, so I was full-fledged and ready to go. Y'all know there's a big ball game coming up this weekend. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Just with that in mind, Tony brought us some tiger sauce in here. Don't forget, tomorrow now, y'all all are invited up here. We're going to be cooking Cajun food. Donnie Shut Up Huddleston's friend is going to be cooking. And then Tim's Cajun Kitchen is going to be cooking on Friday. And there's a chance we may get old Donnie Thickpin up here, too, if his lovely bride Marie can get him up and going <laughs> from over at Poor Boys down at Five Points because they're big, big LSU fans. And as we all know, the majority of us are huge Bama fans. We'll talk about something. Something irritated me this morning about Gary Danielson and what he has said in U.S. USA today. I don't particularly agree with him, but we'll talk about that. I am on this like stink on doo doo this morning, so I mean, I'm on everything <laughs> about <laughs> this Bama. I can't get away from ESPN. You must have said something In the afternoon, I've given up my family life playing, except for playing with Zorro, just to watch ESPN every day. And right now, the consensus is Bama's going to win. We're still favored by five, too. Big crowd expected tomorrow and Friday. Shut up, Bob Labby. Be with Smart Coach Alan Creasy. Travels Briarwood Christian now Friday night. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit, too. All coming up tomorrow, Cajun food. We got to win Saturday night. The game of the century. Right now, let's find out about the weather because, as Gloria told you, it's about to be a changing. Get out and enjoy today. That's right. You better get out and enjoy today because we're going to see temperatures. It is 44 right now. Temperatures in the high today, 69 to 70 degrees, and just a lot of sunshine. So it'll be fun to play in the backyard this afternoon. All right. Tomorrow, 57, 60 to 70 percent chance of showers. So more than likely, we'll all see some rain. And then the rest of the week, 62. Look at Friday. Our high is only going to be around 62, 60, oh, 64. And then a little cooler temperatures. Nice weekend. Not too bad. Cloudy Sunday, and then rain returns next week. Two, three. 4988 gets Tony this morning. Do want to tell you, Cliff Hill, brand new firm. Yep, he's changing. Same number, same location, though, so you can contact Cliff Hill. And then also, we do have some photos I want to share with you this morning. Very, very special happy birthday, ninth birthday to Wyatt. There he is in his Killer. part of his costume. Way to go, Wyatt. Got his first doe, too, right before his birthday. Congratulations. And then, of course, Coach Drake was up here last week with Clay when they were cooking uh, wild turkey in the kitchen. And his. What do we come to? The outdoor channel? We are. <laughs> so if you have your pictures you want to send us to show off, we will. You know, his the, son and does it look like the deer one. got a smile on his face? <laughs> no, I mean, I've never understood. Tom, I've just never understood this. Why people want to pose with a freaking dead animal? Because they killed it. They're proud. I don't want to kill one. <laughs> That's why you're not. The other ready. night. Jamie got a little irritated at me the other night because a I little? said I would shoot a deer from a bedroom window, and he's like, "I can't believe you're saying that." I'm like, "Well, yeah, I would." <laughs> I mean. Keep it up. I'm Tom, have you ever been a there. big hunter? <laughs> no, I haven't, but my son's killed a deer. The only way I'm going to yeah. kill one, I killed one in my life. It was up here when it was Dan Wattell Ford driving to Florence one night. <laughs> no. I Ran said, over that it. deer. Boom. I mean, I just, I, I'm not <laughs> into people posing with a picture of a dead friggin' animal. That's because you didn't kill it. I don't and care if I did kill it. I'm not, what? <laughs> I'm just, y'all do it, y'all. I know it's big, Roy's into it, bow hunting, all this crap. You've shot a gun how many times in your life? Probably once or twice. 
I and mean, that was for a commercial. Listen, I know I grew up in New Hope, but dang it, I'm a motor, leader. Didn't he? Huh? I grew up in New Hope, and I'm as country as they get. But doggone it, no. I ain't that way no more. I never wanted to go hunting then. I've always been an Alabama football fan. Don't want to get your hands fan. dirty. Never, ever have I missed a game on TV or on radio since I've been old enough to root for the Crimson Tide. Yeah. Highly never. active. Right. Never. 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 <laughs> Highly active entertainment. What? Sitting there in front of a TV, watching. Well, it's better than games. being out in the friggin' woods when it's 10 degrees. Have you done that? No, it ain't going to. <laughs> the only reason I'm gonna be out in the woods at 10 degrees is I'm lost somewhere, and I'm trying to get out to civilization. I didn't pick you up in time. <laughs> You're stuck yeah, I am. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of people that do that, and more power to you. That just ain't my thing. Back to happy birthday, Wyatt, ninth birthday. <laughs> if you see my backyard, Tom sold us the house. I'd rather hang out there any day than in some, go a little step further here. Do y'all know what <laughs> the Styles family did? Invited us up to spend a night with them outside. <laughs> oh, Why would I want to travel to somewhere out in the friggin' sticks and sleep outside in the winter time by a fireplace when I got a gas fireplace at home and a 60 inch TV over the fireplace. <laughs> I take it that's not on your bucket oh. list. What? Yeah. I take it that's not that on your bucket list. That ain't not on my bucket list. I already did my bucket list. Thank you. Shut up. <laughs> but I mean, come on. All right, Jan, let's talk about a couple things before I get you cranking up here this morning. Okay. They got a thing in, in uh, News Courier this morning on their Facebook. Too soon for Christmas. People complaining about Christmas decorations already up at some stores and some houses. Where did we see that one the other day? I already had a Christmas tree up on the way back from church. House we that's two weeks ago. Uh, after Thanksgiving, they should start doing it. Yeah, after after Halloween, I mean, you put your stuff up right we after Christmas. We were leaving Prospect when we saw it. Was it? Yeah, it was <laughs> on Prospect. Probably up from a year ago. Oh. Uh, but I mean, uh, people already getting ready for Christmas. What's Christmas? Less than two months away. Yeah. By the way, Thanksgiving's on Thursday this year. It's always on Thursday. <laughs> Christmas is on <laughs> Sunday. Okay. By the way, Corey will be taking that week off. <laughs> so just so you know. I'm uh, always ready like the week before Thanksgiving to put up Christmas stuff, but I wait until after Thanksgiving. Well, you ain't getting nothing this year, so. I already uh, got it. And also, Jan's sure already did, done. Huh? Oh, what? I've got my necklace. Jan's already done with um, her Christmas shopping. I'm always, I'm always done by October 31st. Jan's the only one I know She's gives so out prepared. gifts of a place that's gone out of business. <laughs> that is and how many gifts have you received since that? You're not going to. Aren't you glad? That's because oh. I'm glad about oh. thank you cards. Oh. Yeah, all right. I'm let you forget that, is yeah. All right, y'all might notice back behind Tom is Kim Kardashian and her soon-to-be ex-husband. Who They've been that? married 72 days, and now she says in USA Today, I do. Now she says, I don't. <laughs> In the paper today, their, their wedding, which cost an estimated $10 million. After careful consideration, I've decided to end my marriage. I hope everyone <laughs> understands this was not an easy decision. I had hoped this marriage was forever, but sometimes things just don't work out. Give me a freaking break. Your 26-year-old husband is panicking because he loves her. Uh, here's what's in USA Today. She's speaking out about her split from Chris Humphreys after 72 days. She says that, that was she got uh, that she wanted to marry for love, but she concedes that her relationship might have moved too quickly. I want a family and babies and a real life so bad that maybe I rushed into something too soon. I got caught up in the hoopla and the filming of a TV show when I probably should have ended my relationship. That and a yep. Cinderella wedding. She made $5 million off, off of it. Of yeah. course. Oh. She will be donating the money for all the gifts that were sent to them to the Dream Foundation. It's a publicity stunt. Yeah. Why am I talking about it? Because Jan and Gloria were talking about it this morning. Yeah, no, was. Jan was asking me, why do I care about this? And I, I said, I what know. is her claim to fame? <laughs> Gloria says her big ass. <gasps> I said her big butt. <laughs> Don't put words into my mouth. I can't believe you said that. Well, I did, and you did say that. I said it was her behind. No, no, no. <laughs> well, yes, the reality yes, yes. show, you know, with I've never mom seen and show. Bruce Jenner. What happened to Bruce Jenner? I mean... Uh, well, he had a facelift that went bad. <laughs> yeah. He looks, he looks <laughs> ridiculous. He kind of looked like Kenny <laughs> yeah. Rogers. Yeah. yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. But I didn't know bad. she had a big... You know, because I watched the reality show. They never Maybe showed it never that. Shows a, maybe it doesn't show from behind. It, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I remember. Which fascinates you. <laughs> I don't like women like that. They're too fat for me. 
But Jamie, the, the recent <clears throat> article said that Kim is very strained, was looking strained, and is under a great deal of duress. Oh, mm. whatever. Yeah. Man. Don't you just feel sorry for her? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do. <sighs> I feel Let's sorry move on to Babel football. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Here's what I'm mad about, Tom. Danielson, our favorite TV announcer, yeah. channel on CBS. But anyways, USA Today, no rematch for LSU Bama. No matter what happens, Saturday's first regular season game between two college football teams. CBS analyst Gary Daniels is sure that the, this will be the only time Alabama LSU play, no matter what else happens with those people behind them. No rematch is what, is what he's saying. How much of the rest of USA will care? And they're really down in this game saying it will not match the numbers. But this is the line I don't like. Well, not, I'm, I'm going to do that in just a second. CBS will be lucky to match the 13 rating, which is 13% of the U.S. households. When Michigan against Ohio State in 06 drew their last regular season to meeting of two top ranked teams. The only top 50 TV market in Alabama or Louisiana is number 39, Birmingham. Says here, but this right here is what irks me, and it'll irk you too, Stanley, when you hear this. <laughs> LSU Alabama lacks a Heisman Trophy favorite like Cam Newton, who last year helped CBS draw an SEC season high 7.3 rating in Auburn's win against Alabama. What planet are y'all on? <laughs> what about Richardson? Did you yeah. hear that? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's ridiculous. Lacks the Heisman Trophy favorite. Right now, he's number two yeah. next to Andrew Luck. Now, obviously, yeah. he isn't Cam Newton. And as you might Cam's notice, the blackboard behind me, I put my Trent Richardson 132 yards and two touchdowns up this morning. That's what you think, huh? Come on, Bama fans. This right here, does that not make y'all as mad as it does me? Yeah. That's Where have you been? Trent Richardson is number two right now in the high end. If he gets what I say he gets. Who's number one right now? Andrew Luck, he's been in one for like the last three years and ain't won it yet. Man, to take Aww. a hint, go to the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Maybe. You'll get it. So, all right, here's the ticket price in case you want to go. First number one, two regular season game. This is the first number one versus number two SEC in history. Uh, search engine devoted to listing sporting events. Right now, the average price is around $700 per ticket. The price has gone up 68% since September 19th. Uh, it's one of the biggest regular season games um, in the century, is what they're saying. Some tickets are available at $345 in the end zone. Right now, one seat has sold for $6,000 in the uh, somewhere. It says there's also someone seeking $9,999 for one upper level corner seat. Mm. Hmm. What person is going to pay ten thousand dollars for one seat? Some idiot will. Yeah, some idiot. I mean, ten grand for <laughs> one seat? Will. I mean, come on. Oh. Uh, a couple days, a little things here on Alabama. I know y'all guys want to know. By the week's end, Alabama officials expect they will approve six hundred working press credentials for Saturday night's game. An average game is three hundred and fifty. Last year against Auburn, it was four hundred and fifty. A hundred have been denied. Uh, that's what's going to be happening. People from Los Angeles Times, New York Times, Houston Chronicle, Miami Herald, all will be there. Don't forget now, September 24th, number 16, West Virginia, Donnie Huddleston, pay attention, gained 533 yards with 463 of that being in passing in a 47 to 21 loss at home to LSU. <laughs> So I'm just Jan, since you won't be with us next week. Yeah, you'll be with us next week. But yeah, I will. Is, what is your prediction on the game for Saturday night? Well, Alabama, of course. Absolutely. Well. But I haven't come up with my numbers yet. I'm still Sorry, I doing some math. But you're ineligible for the contest. Oh, that's true. <laughs> uh, if you'd like yeah. to enter our contest, Glorious Conformance, now we got like two or three hundred million people already in it. <laughs> I think there's about 200. About 200 already. Facebook us, Texas, whatever. Give me the correct score. And give me Trent Richardson yards. Here's what you'll win. $50 at Tim's Cajun Kitchen. Plus, we'll throw in some pull boys, too. Thanks to Marie Thigpen. A free $200 teeth whitening that Tom's already taken advantage of. Bennett Coleman Dental. And listen, you can get that free anyway. If you just call down there and say, I love to floss. I love to floss. And Lisa will set you up. She's already done probably, what, 20, 30 folks? At least. Two, three, two, seven, eight, we were there yesterday. All right, well, take care. Y'all got anything else y'all would like to add to my... Uh
31 yards. You're saying 34, you're ineligible anyway, but 34, 17? Well, she's ineligible. Yeah. Because he's part of the show, Brad. You're in eligible too because you're an Auburn fan. <laughs> Quit talking to me. I'm busy. I got to take a break. We'll be right back on a. If you need to text me, text Gloria. I don't know where my phone is this morning. Oh, wait. 1123. My number is 230 1123. I'll go find it during the break. I'll come back with ZNN in just a moment. Y'all, yeah. hang on. Stanley, what's up?